Hello beautiful people, welcome to Free Movement Sewing Studio. So today we are gonna talk about how to hem stretchy fabrics without it getting waved and without using a serger at home. Now if you have a serger at home, you know it's gonna be your best part when you're working with stretch fabrics. But if you don't, okay, over here we also teach you how to use a single sewing machine that you might already have at home and be able to work on stretch fabrics with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead to talk about what's going to help you to make sure that your hem remains nice, flat, straight and you can get that hem right, especially for your stretch fabrics. By stretch fabrics, I mean things like lycra, spandex, mesh and so on and so forth, you name it, okay? So any kind of knit fabrics, that's exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so let's go over and talk about how and what will help you. Alright, before we go over to the sewing machine, there are just a couple of things that I want to make sure that you actually understand thoroughly. It's going to be like the, the main thing. It's going to make or break your sewing, okay? When it comes to stretch fabrics, knit fabrics, stuff like that, okay? So, in order to master stretch fabrics, there are two main things when it comes to reducing the waves in the hems that you need to remember. The first thing would be tension. This... I cannot emphasize enough, okay? Because with all regular sewing machines, there is always a tension dial that you can reduce or increase and stuff like that. So, we will talk about it at the machine later. I'll show you exactly what it is. But always remember, if it gets really wavy, play with your tension. Reduce the tension if it gets really wavy. If your, um, if your stitches are too loose, increase your tension. Okay, that's usually what we talk about because tension is, oh my goodness, so important. So please, please, please remember, tension works. Okay, tension 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 okay so always remember what tension if now if it's your first time sewing if you have no idea what tension is i'll show it to you on the sewing machine later so don't worry all right so let's move on to the other thing which is stitch length this also makes or breaks whether or not your stitches your hem will become very wavy the moment your stitches are too small it starts to get very 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 wavy okay if it's too long as well and your tension is too tight it's going to scrunch everything together and start together so that's the kind of thing that we want to make sure that your stitch length is also at the right length not too small not too large okay but tension is always the number one priority okay so just remember that tension is number one and if tension and if adjusting the tension doesn't work always go towards your stitch length okay all right let's go over to the sewing machine Okay, so before we do anything, let me just prep the sewing machine. So I've got a piece of spandex over here. Okay, so there are different names for it. Some people call this spandex, some people call this lycra. Just remember that lycra is a brand name and it's actually spandex, okay? So I've got this piece of spandex over here. Um, again, all these are for waist stretch fabrics because we specialize in dancewear fabrics, in stretch fabrics, in sequins and stuff like that so all sorts of like crazy fabrics that's exactly what we specialize in so this is a four-way stretch spandex fabric i love this color this is like a beautiful turquoise color and i'm just using the micro serration scissors okay and then i'm just going to snip this baby into two so that i can show you what it means when it is too wavy and what it also means when you know it's really nice and relaxed okay so come over to the sewing machine let me show you okay so in this particular instance i'm gonna use the singer heavy duty this is one of my favorite machines that i love to use i mean if you've done your reviews on sewing machine you i'm sure you've heard of like many good reviews of course there are other good sewing machines out there but this is what i love okay um now when you see when you have your own sewing machine it depends on what dowels that you have okay for the singer heavy duty they do um have a few couple different dowels over here which let me just show you okay now the main thing i was talking about over on the whiteboard earlier were two things one is tension the second one is length okay so tension is over here this is the tension dowel let me just zoom in okay so this over here is the tension dowel now, when working with stretch fabrics, you want to make sure that tension dial is not too tight, alright? So, if you go all the way in, that's way too tight, alright? And you don't want it to be too loose as well, alright? Mm. So, 
lower the number, the looser the tension, the higher the number, the, the, the tighter the tension. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 3. And then the other thing that we're going to talk about today would be the length. Okay, let me just turn the camera. So the length over here is going to be something that you want to look out for as well. That's the second most important thing to make sure that your hem doesn't start to weave. Alright, so if you change the length over to 1, it's going to be too small. It's going to cause a lot of problems, okay? And if it's at 3, uh, usually I, want, I like to leave it at around 3. So you can just try that first, just depending on your machine, okay? I'm not going to talk about anything else. We'll go through this in our online sewing courses and we also go through this in our other YouTube videos. Okay, so let's move on to the sewing machine, making sure that my thread at the back is okay. I've got my spool holder at the back. Yep, okay, so I'm going to use black thread. Okay, again, alright, if you think you found this useful so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? We have many videos coming up every single week and we go through different tips and tricks for you as well, okay? And comment below if you have any questions, okay? I'll definitely be able to answer you and we're all here to support you. Okay, so I'm going to show you what a tight, a wavy tension is going to look like first. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use a... Let's use a zigzag stitch. No, let's use a straight stitch, okay? And then I'm going to make the tension way too tight until it gets really wavy. I'll show you what it means. And this is not what you want. Okay, assuming that you are just doing a normal hem. Okay, back stitching. Okay, and we're just gonna run this through. Back stitching. Okay. This didn't came out, come out looking too bad, but it, it's still a little bit wavy, which is not what we want, okay? So if you're seeing the edges here, you can see that it's actually waving a little bit, right? Can you see that the lines are not straight? You see it's starting to dip, it's coming up, blah, blah, blah. So this wave is not what we want, okay? So if you lay the fabric flat like that, you can actually see the different bulges going on, okay? I'll give you another example. I'll do one more with a worse, even worse wave. So you can actually see like how bad it can actually get. Okay, so let me just try one more. And let's use, all right, let me just cut to one more piece. Let's do one more so it's a lot easier to see. I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually wavy and it's not nice. Like it doesn't lay flat. Like the stitches are bulging, which is not what you want because it's not nice at all. Okay, so let's try one more. Same thing, we are just going to do a straight stitch. Now, you can see the fabric was moving a lot because um, of how, how tight the tension was, okay? But the main thing is you can see how bulgy and wavy it's, it's over like the whole line. Like when you lay it flat, it doesn't actually sit flat and it doesn't actually look good, okay? So it's too wavy. Um, it's too, the tension is too tight. So that's what I was trying to say. So, same thing, okay, always make sure that when you lay your fabric flat, okay, you can actually make sure that it remains flat, even with spandex, okay, and that it doesn't have this little bulge going on. Now, I'm going to show you with the other fabric, alright. This time around, I'm going to change the tension over to about 3. And I'm going to put the length at about 3 as well, okay. And then let's try doing the same thing again. 
so always make sure now different machines have different tension dials different machines have different personalities so try and figure out what what your machine really likes all right see how the fabric is kind of moving by itself a lot smoother as well we felt that i was kind of fighting the fabric and and that's why this was such curvy because you know i was really trying to maneuver the fabric and it was it was just pulling the fabric in too much whereas if you see this this one just kind of like glides the fabric through which is exactly what we want okay i'm done with my back stitch all right so this is exactly the finished look okay you can see it was really easy to sew you know it wasn't like i had to fight with the fabric and stuff like that so you can see this lays a lot uh, more comfortably okay as compared to say this one over here you can see that wave going on not not this bulk here but this wave going on or even compared to this one over here okay you can see that can you see the dip in that wave up yeah so those are the things that we don't want whereas this one looks very relaxed and very comfortable which is exactly what we want okay so now if you're just hemming and um you're just working with something that you don't need much stretch definitely the straight stitch works okay so there is still a little bit of stretch especially when your tension is not too tight um, but typically I would say I would prefer to use a zigzag for any of the stretch fabrics and stuff like that but it just depends okay usually if you hem a straight line will always look nicer but if you need a lot of stretch go ahead to use a zigzag as well now I hope that you found that useful remember sewing is always practice so just keep practicing and always remember that you can definitely do it okay especially when you practice so keep going if you're interested in looking out for our online courses okay you can just click on the link down below we'll link it down in our bio or you can just comment down below if you have any questions as well okay don't forget to like and subscribe and until next week i'll see you bye